Hey, welcome to Kevin's Coding Bytes, episode one. First episode this year, first episode ever for Kevin Coding Bytes. So uh, today we're talking about the Mac Catalyst feature available with the SDK for iOS version 5. So this is pretty much a recap of what I showed in DJ's live stream two weeks ago. So have fun, enjoy, and let me know what you think. We started off with mobile services and mobile services on the mobile applications, native and hybrid. I have already defined a mobile app configuration in mobile services. In this case, this is my sample app. And if we drill in here, we see we're using the mobile sample data ESPM service. And you can add that to your application if you want to develop against that. This is pretty much a service which contains customers, products, purchase orders, stock suppliers, things like that. Um, so we can use that service for our example here. Next, we go into the assistant and we say create new. And here we can say reuse existing application. So we do that. And here it lets us connect to our mobile services accounts. So we do that. And it fetches all the cloud application configurations. And here we see our my sample app. So we just say next. And we give the whole thing a product. We can just call it how about the sales assistant uh, organization name is SAP. Uh, we just save that on desktop. And important here is if we want to make that ready for Mac Catalyst, we want to check that here, Mac Catalyst enabled. And we say next. And uh, now this exists already. Let's just put that somewhere else, or actually I just copy it to. Uh, in here, you can theoretically change the way the proxy classes get generated, but you don't have to touch that for this example. So we just go on and do that. And here we just leave as it is. And we just uh, we uh, let the assistant generate the onboarding process as well as master detail screen in this case, because we just want to show it how to make it available on Mac OS. So what it does now, it connects to mobile services, it fetches the metadata document, the configuration settings and all that, and generates a project out of it, generates us proxy classes. So if we go in here, we can see we have for all those entities, we have our own classes where we can instantiate those classes and fill them with information and then use our data service, which gets generated as well to actually fetch information or create entities and things like that. So for now, we want to just go into detail in, on how to make that app run on macOS. So let's just go up here and say, let's run it on my Mac and see what happens. So we run that, it compiles, we get a compile time error. So let's go in here and uh, we say command phrase script execution failed with a non-zero exit code. It's pretty much in that case, um, because we got to sign those um, we got to sign our project as well as the embedded frameworks. So in here, in our project settings, we can go into uh, under signing and capabilities and in team, we just choose our development team. And in the signing certificate, we just choose our development signing certificate. And if you run that now, it actually should run on macOS and we should see a macOS application come up. While this is compiling, last year in 2019, um, Apple released Mac Catalyst, or actually got it uh, got it introduced later that year, uh, that year they released it, and uh, we as SAP we made sure that we should support Mac Catalyst with our SDK as well, and with the version five, uh, which came out a couple of weeks ago, uh, you can actually do that. So I'm using uh, the SDK version five here, and um, it has everything configured already. So you just got to choose the team, got to choose the signing certificate, and you can run your app on Mac. So the compiling should be done and we should actually see our app coming up. Here we go. So this is our Mac app. You can see it's just a regular Mac app. We can resize, we can minimize. Um, we can get that guy back up. Um, and this is just an app running on Mac OS with help of Mac Catalyst. So. Let's just go through the onboarding process real, real quick. Uh, so you see how the app looks like. So we have our standard onboarding process. Everything is the same. We have keyboard support. We have mouse support. Everything out of the box. We have automatic split view here with a, with a sidebar. 
really nice. Um, so all of that we get out of the box um, and it runs on Mac and we haven't written any line of code yet. We also get the push notifications up here, if you can see, so we just allowed it. Hey, what I forgot to tell you in the video is you cannot run every app um, on Mac OS over Mac Catalyst. Um, if you're using frameworks, which are only available on iOS, you cannot run them on Mac OS through Mac Catalyst, for example. But um, if you're interested in what you can do, what you get out of the box, um, what Mac Catalyst is in more detail, uh, first of all, there's going to be a new mission coming out, which is a set of tutorials um, beginning of next week, um, where I'm going to show you everything, like from creating the app all the way of bringing it to macOS, um, implementing UI and screens, and you're going to adapt a certain UI pattern to, to make it more fit for macOS later on. So stay tuned for that. Um, as well, in the description, you will find links to the official documentation about Mac Catalyst. Thank you.